in this video, we're going to factor polynomials using the factoring by grouping method, okay? Uh, polynomials with at least four terms can sometimes, okay, not always, sometimes be factored by grouping, okay? You want to recognize that you have a four-term polynomial, in some cases more, but generally uh, for our class, we're just going to deal with four-term polynomials, and we're going to try to factor them by grouping, okay? So what you want to do, you want to group together a couple of terms uh, in the polynomial. So we're going to group in this example, we're going to group the first and the second term together. We're going to try to factor that binomial using a, a greatest common factor. And then we're going to try to do the same thing for this binomial, okay? So we want to separate those uh, terms using parentheses just to show that we've got a, a binomial plus a binomial, okay? All I've done is add parentheses here to group these two terms together and these two terms together, okay? Now, I want to use factoring, okay, GCF, or basically think of it as undoing the distributive property uh, for each of these. So if you look at x cubed and x squared, they have an x squared in common, okay? And if I take an x squared out of that, x cubed uh, divided by x squared is x, x squared divided by itself is obviously 1, okay? Now, when we do the same thing with this binomial, what we're hoping for is that what's left in parentheses matches what we ended up with here, okay? Let's see if that happens. So if I look at these two terms, they have a four in common. So let's take a four out. And when I do, magically, those two binomials match up. If that doesn't happen, okay, you need to try to group other terms together, or this might be one of those polynomials that cannot be factored by grouping. And that's okay too. We'll, find, we'll figure out other ways to divide uh, polynomials later on in the class, okay? So once these two match up, you can use factoring again, or you can use, you know, the distributive property, like the, the distributive property in reverse, uh, to come up with your answer, okay? So this x squared and this plus 4, they're going to go together to make our first binomial factor, okay? So x squared plus 4, and then our second binomial factor would be the matching factor here, x plus 1, okay? You can also think of that as factoring out this x plus 1 as a greatest common factor uh, from these two terms. So the x plus 1 comes out as a GCF, and what's left over is x squared plus 4, okay? And there's a couple ways to think about this, uh, but this will be the complete factorization of this four-term polynomial that we started with, okay? Now, in example E here, you could group these first two terms together and these last two terms together, just like we did here, okay? But I'm going to show you that sometimes it helps to maybe group the first and the third term together and the second and the fourth term together. Okay, so this time I'm going to group these two, and I'm going to group these two in green. Okay, so let's rewrite that. So it's x cubed minus 3x plus uh, negative 2x squared plus 6. All right, so let's factor each of these using a GCF. So I'm going to take an x out of this binomial. I'm left with x squared minus 3. In order for this, when I factor this to match x squared minus 3, I'm actually going to have to take out a negative 2, and that's going to match up these x squared minus 3s, okay? If you took out a positive 2 here, this binomial would have been the exact opposite of this one, and that would have told you you needed to take out a negative 2 instead of a positive 2, okay? Remember, you always want to make sure these binomials are exactly the same, okay? So once I put these together, my answer is going to be x minus 2. So x minus 2 times this binomial x squared minus 3, okay? Notice in neither of these problems did we have a GCF that we wanted to take out. Um, you always want to look for that first. If there is a GCF, take it out and then try to factor by grouping. Um, if not, you'll have to take the GCF out in one of the later steps, okay? And it gets a little harder to recognize sometimes then. All right, so that's how you factor by grouping.